Um, so let's talk about public processes here for a second, and then I'm going to end with um, a an idea on new employee training inside of Touchstone. So the public processes you're always going to see here on the dashboard, and what these processes are, they're meant to be processes that are company wide information. So they're processes that are the accountability of every position, not just one or two positions, but every employee needs to have access to these processes. So they're going to tend to be HR things like employee handbook, 60-day um, review, time off, vacation requests, um, any kind of HR paperwork that people ask for all the time and they make a request to admin for it, and then you've got to like dig it up and try and find it. Any kind of documents like that that are company wide that people are asking for, and they're looking for the most current version of that document, it can be stored here. Um, tra uh, software trainings are great here. So, this is an example of that CRM how to's. It could be like um, Outlook how to's or email how to's. I just throw in that word how to's because I like it, but you could call it anything you want. You could call it um, e myth resource or uh, email resources. Um, and then anybody can go here to access that. Um, they could also be strategic things. So like company strategy type things that um, all employees should be mindful of. So like the management philosophy right here, um, meeting guidelines. So the, the rules on meetings, how we have meetings, what's acceptable during a meeting. Um, time management stuff is also great here, planning information. Uh, also any kind of workshops that you do, or you know when you, somebody comes in to do an in-service or some kind of a training on maybe the 401k plan or anything like that, you can take all the materials that that person has been training with, and hopefully they're electronic, they should be, and then make a process out of it and put it in the public area. Um, so stuff like this, it, it highlights these, this type of information so it's easy for people to find. It makes it important. It makes it where you can reference it. So a manager can say, hey, go view the management philosophy, or um, you have a question about the compensation plan, go look at it. It's all right there in Touchstone. When somebody accesses a public process, uh, like this one, say, it opens that process in the control panel view. So you can see, I'm seeing it, it looks just like I would, it, a process would look if I accessed it through my control panel. And it's the same idea. Like I can go here to like this daily planner. And when I select it, I could fill all this out and save it back to Touchstone. So here I'm using the public process here. And then um, it saves it back unique to me. So just because a process is public doesn't mean that anything I do in the process is public. Um, the content of the process is public. Anything I do in the, that user does in the process is saved unique to that person, just like the control panel information. So I could literally go to this time off vacation request. Um, I can fill this, this form out requesting a vacation, save it. And then my manager could run a report and see it. Nobody else could, just my manager. Um, you'll see it when I click a position here in management review, I'm going to click Jack here. The public processes are listed here as well, all right here. So if, if Jack had gone in and done a vacation request, I could go here to this process and look in the save folder and find it. Or an easier way would be to go run a management report and find it because the management reports will pull anything completed in the public folder as well. What you don't want here in the public folder is process, our processes that are not public, that they are the accountability of one or two or even a whole department. I've seen touchstone accounts before where the whole public folder is just, it's like 50 processes long. And I think the thought in people's mind is, well, let's just put it here so we can find it easy and we know where to go to get it. So it's all right here. 
The problem with that is it becomes unmanageable. It's like defeating, it's the opposite of what you're trying to do. So by dumping it all on the public folders, um, you do see it all in one big list here, um, but you don't know who's accountable for what. Um, people can't find things easy because there's no groupings here. It's just a list. Um, they don't know if that's something for them or something for someone else. So any process that is not public belongs on the job description for the positions that use it. And it's really just one extra click to get to that process. It's much easier to find it than it would be to just dump it in the public folder. So if I go to a control panel, here's the one click. And now I see all the processes in these great little categories. And it's another click to get to the content. So it's one level in to be able to see the processes that I know I'm responsible for organized um, in a really cool way and a click to the content. Here on the dashboard, you save the click to here if it's a public process. But again, this list becomes unwieldy and difficult to manage. So make sure all of your processes are um, that are in the public folder are actually public. 